This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We go now to Seattle, Washington, where we're joined by Rabbi David Basur of Kadima Reconstructionist Community. One of his congregants, Chaim Katzman, died on Saturday in the Hamas attack on the kibbutz where he was living in Israel. Chaim's mother said, quote, I just think it's chilling. My father grew up in Poland. He survived the Holocaust with false papers. My mother was a refugee from Germany who left after Hitler came to power. It's chilling to me that my son died hiding in a closet, she said. The death toll in Israel has now topped 1,300 after Saturday's attack. Meanwhile, the seven-day Israeli bombardment of Gaza has killed at least 1,500 Palestinians. Rabbi David Bastior, welcome to Democracy Now!, condolences to you and your whole community. And I say that for Chaim, uh, the Ph.D. student who returned to Israel, lived in a kibbutz and was killed on Saturday, um, part of your community, and also um, for what is happening in Gaza, because you are well known for speaking out uh, on behalf of Palestinians as well. Uh, Rabbi Basur, tell us about uh, um, Chaim Katzman, what happened to him, and what you feel needs to happen right now. Thank you for having me, Amy. Um, and thank you for those condolences. Um, Chaim dedicated his dissertation to all life forms that exist between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. Um, and so I join in that dedication today um, in speaking with you and your viewers. Um, Chaim was a, uh, a very warm, very, uh, very loving, very humble, and very willing educator and student in our community. Uh, he came to us from Israel, where he grew up, um, and he uh, was in Seattle studying for his Ph.D. Um, I had a very last-minute opening uh, for a Hebrew teacher in our program for young people, um, and he applied, never having taught young people before and never taught, never having taught Hebrew to Americans before. Um, and yet he was willing, he was game. Uh, he was creative. Uh, he became beloved over the two and a half years that he worked with us and our young people. I have very fond memories of talking about uh, the politics of the situation with him during the pizza dinner break on Tuesday evenings um, in Seattle, um, here on Duwamish land. Um, and he will be missed. Um, I last saw him in 2021 when he came to defend his dissertation um, at the University of Washington. Um, uh, and I learned of his death uh, first thing Sunday morning. And if you can talk about um, what happened on the border, the Hamas attack, uh, called the worst mass slaughter of Jews since World War II, and yet why you continue to talk about the end of the occupation and how critical that is, the occupation of Palestinian territories. Yeah. Um, thank you, Amy. Um, the, uh, the attack against civilian Jews in Israel on Saturday was shocking, um, was terrifying, um, was awful. Um, it, uh, it shook many in my community and myself uh, to the core. Many Israelis in my community themselves uh, critical of the Israeli government and the occupation, um, but having family um, throughout throughout the state, uh, myself having friends uh, in the land as well, um, was uh, it was terrible to hear about. Just as I was setting up for Simchat Torah services on Saturday morning, uh, where we then uh, danced around with the Torah. Um, to music similar to Brevola, who we just heard. Um, we, we did so to sanctify life, and that ultimately is why I have been outspoken um, against the Israeli occupation um, for a few decades now. Um, life is the utmost. It is uh, the most core teaching um, that I have received from my tradition, from my ancestors. Um, the idea that never again means never again for anyone means that uh, in the West Bank and certainly in Gaza right now, where we are on the verge of a complete nightmare, 
um, must be spoken out against, must be uh, called back toward reason, toward the interdependence, toward the ways in which uh, Jews, Israelis, Palestinians, and everyone living in the region, our fates are intertwined. Bombing uh, is bombing all of us, is bombing hope, um, is bombing reason. We need to de-escalate the situation. Um, I can do what I can do from Seattle. We all must uh, move out of hopelessness and into action by either calling our representatives, by coming together, by reaching out to Palestinian friends in the diaspora, um, to reaching out to Jews, Israelis who have friends and family in harm's way. <sighs> the situation has been uh, terrible for many, many years. And the context of the occupation of um, the atrocities from for the last 75 years um, must be reconciled. To face them is not to say um, anyone is bad, no one deserves to be killed, and yet we have to face them, we have to make things right. It is the teaching of the tradition that I came up in and now represent as a rabbi. I want to turn uh, to and end with the words of Chaim's brother, Chaim Katzman's brother, Noe Katzman, speaking on CNN. The most important for me, and I think also for my brother, was that his death won't be used to kill innocent people. Um, and sadly, uh, my government, our government, my government is using cynically the death of people to just kill like they promised us it was going to bring it's going to bring us um like security but of course it's not security because they always tell us oh that if we're going to kill enough palestinians or they're gonna so it's going to be better for us but of course it never brings us peace and it never brings us better lives it just brings more and more terror and more and more uh, people killed like my brother and i don't want anything to happen to people in gaza like it happens to my brother and I'm sure he wouldn't have any uh, either. So that's my call to my government, to stop killing innocent people. And that's not the way that brings us peace and uh, security to the people in Israel. That's Noy Katzman, the brother of Chaim, who was killed by Hamas in a closet in his kibbutz on Saturday. Uh, Rabbi David Basur, I want to thank you so much for being with us of the Kadima Reconstructionist Community in Seattle, Washington.